making some very happy customers today. Always an exciting day, right? No, I didn't drive it. No, no. The yard manager took care of that. Took care of that privilege. Very, very carefully. <laughs> yard manager Bill. So if you want to know what it's like to uh, drive a Lamborghini, ask Bill. <laughs> so that was the highlight of the morning, for sure. Uh, we unloaded that for the customer and uh, got it all ready. And now I'm back in Winnipeg. I had to pick up some uh, cattle guards or cattle fencing. It's uh, north of Winnipeg, Stonewall. Now I'm making my way into Winnipeg here on Wilkes Avenue. I've got to go pick up a bucket. I don't know what kind of bucket. They never told me. They just said, Josh, we need you to go pick up a bucket. I said, I'm your man. I'll go get your bucket. I don't know. What is it? Is it like a five gallon bucket? Maybe it's a big front end loader bucket. Maybe it's a little itty bitty excavator bucket. Maybe it's a skid steer bucket. I don't know, maybe it's an ice cream bucket. All I know is I'm gonna go pick it up, throw it on the back of this trailer, and it's going to Montana. The cattle fencing I got on my trailer right now is uh, its temporary cattle fencing, and it's going to, uh, also going to Montana, and part of it's going to California. bucket picked up, bring it back to the yard, get it ready for our highway driver who's going to take it out there and do his thing. So after I get this uh, mystery bucket back to the yard with the rest of the stuff, uh, I'm going home, I think. I've had two long days in a row, so I wouldn't mind going home then. Uh, it's 1.30 right now. I've got to pick this bucket up at 2 just down the road here, so I'll be early. I'll be back at the yard around 3, I'd be leaving home at about 4, that's about a normal time I guess, but a little earlier than the last couple of days anyway. Now you guys, I wish I could show you the feeling in your chest when that Lamborghini starts up. Oh, you can just feel it right down to your bones, you can feel it in your soul, it's so good. It's so good, nothing like it, nothing like it. I didn't sit in it, I didn't even touch it, but just being that close to it. <laughs> We've had those come through before. Uh, but uh, I, I'm not always there to uh, you know, see it. And this time I was actually involved in it. I had to bring it to uh, uh, into Winnipeg to get some paperwork done. And then we brought it back and unloaded it for the customer. Tell you what, if that guy ever offers me a ride, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no. It's definitely not an ice cream bucket. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that, but that makes sense. It's a bucket. It's a big truck bucket. <laughs> so uh, this is being pulled. I don't even know. I guess I gotta check where the destination is. Somewhere, uh, Caden, Caden, somewhere in Montana, somewhere, someone in Montana is getting a new truck box. Congratulations. You know how I said they uh, fixed my interior lights without even telling me? I was very thankful. They've also been messing around over here. Look at this. This is new. That's new down there. This is new. An exhaust leak that was down here uh, is now gone and fixed. I don't know if I'm sad about that or glad. They did some work on the other side too. I don't know when they did this. Must have been evening shift overnight. Look at this. New pipe from all the way here. And this is all new as well. I had no idea, I just noticed it today. She still sounds great though, so. 
That's all that matters. And interior lights. I am very thankful that they fixed those. Because in winter time, when I'm gonna be driving this truck, uh, I'm gonna need these, because it's dark all the time. But uh, my only other thing I wrote it up for now was that uh, the air conditioning doesn't work and summer's coming. So I hope they fix that for me because otherwise it's going to be a very sticky, soggy kind of summer. See how crooked some of these guys park the trailers? See, this is nice and straight, right? Nice and straight. Look at this. What happened here? <laughs> you could fit another bobtail in here. Just can't fit another trailer in there because, uh, yeah. You can tell it's obviously crooked on the concrete pad there. I don't know what that wood is. Someone left that wood line there too. I don't know what's going on. Place is a mess. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but uh, I parked it straight along with all of these trailers. Those trailers are all crooked. It's a waste of a spot. You'd have to move all of those trailers to fix it because every single one of them is crooked. I'm gonna have to convince myself that that's okay. Cause I didn't park those trailers. Unless if I wanna go and move every single one of them. In which case I need to go get the shunt truck. But uh, we'll hold off on that a little bit. Maybe they're crooked for a reason. Unbeknownst to me. I don't know, I'll park it straight. Oh, did I hit the concrete? Is that going to be on the concrete? Yep, and you can see my trailer's straight, see? Landing gear lines up. I could go back about six inches, just so I'm in the center, but as long as I'm on the concrete pad, that's all good. 